yo what's going on you guys welcome back to another video on the channel today bringing you guys some of my personal gameplay i played this game last night i'm sure you could tell by the title i came in against a salty flu player who he tried to cheat me started calling me names started he started slinging insults started slinging kurt's words it got crazy but anyway i wanted to show you guys this this isn't new format but it actually kind of is new format because low key i mean with cash gone flu is like the best shifter deck and it has a really good matchup against unchained like it literally doesn't care about unchained's end board at all except for the trap cards maybe like the pop one escape only like escape on map maybe sure but obviously the ddd doesn't do anything and obviously the unchained soul of rage doesn't do anything because if my memory i think it needs to target a special summon monster to link with that monster but anyway i think flu will probably pick up some popularity uh, post ban list and i will win the rock paper scissors here but like i said it's not new format but it kind of could be considered new format if this is a deck that you know sees more more and more play so hopping right in i open up poly chimera fusion gazelle burfamit and poly opponent opens up town unexplored winds ash empen and ryza here and i don't remember if he ashes me like i don't now that i'm seeing this okay so i start with chimera fusion Saving the polys in my hand because I could just get this back. This is literally free. We just start by making the King of Phantom Beast. So chain link one, chain link two. Uh, we don't have a illusion in the graveyard to trigger birth from it. So just chain link one, chain link two. I add Sword Knight to play around Droll, even though I probably shouldn't be playing around Droll because it's not as popular in the main deck, but I do be seeing it. Like I'll be playing on DB. People still main deck Droll sometimes, but uh anyway we're gonna go ahead add sword knight like i said and then add back the chimera fusion and then normal summon use the effect oh wow he didn't ash that wow okay so i didn't even know he had an ash ball this is crazy this is crazy okay so birth from it effect he doesn't ash that either that's crazy that says add two bro that says add two so i just set two cards and then move to the end phase rip a card out of his hand and we hit the M pen there. He draws Ash Blossom. And he cannot play. He can draw one. I mean, that's it. He can try to draw one. But yeah. So he should have ashed me for sure. He should have ashed me for sure. But maybe he just knows to not ash me. Because you're not supposed to ash. That, that's, that's, that's the whole point of the name there, brother. You're not supposed to ash. You second game two i open up agent chain brand infusion poly gazelle cornfield opening up the polys feels so bad bro so feels so bad but the opponent opens up eagle shifter the you know the winds eagle and then prosperity so he starts with prosperity of course and then chain shifter obviously so yep chain shifter and then he's going to go ahead and look at the top three there hits robin grabs robin decides to not okay i guess i guess that's fair sure i'm um, not really too versed with flu like yeah i mean i guess this could have got you mad like if you took advent normal summon effect banish yeah still tough so i don't know i don't know what's the correct ad there you flu players in the comment section let me know what's the correct ad there uh, so he's going to start normal summon Rabina, use the effect to add Stree, so sure. And that normal summon Eagle, Eagle effect, grab M pen, standard lines. So banish M pen chain link one, Eagle chain link two, add back Eagle, search for Dreaming Town. And then activate unexplored wind, set Dreaming Town pass. I draw another Gazelle and I'm under shifter. So we start with Brain Infusion here. And he says, okay. So I send chain and then Albaz, of course. Then I go Lubelion, banish, discard, put back. He's letting all this go through. I just make Dragos to Pelia. This checks the town right away. So don't have to worry about that. Then I normal summon Gazelle, use the effect to grab Chimera Fusion there. And then from here, he's going to go Dreaming Town on Resolution, which doesn't do anything because I have Dragos to Pelia. So just negate Eagle. And then... It's my turn again. Now it's my turn. We start with a poly here. So these won't trigger because this card has to go to graveyard. And so does this. This also has to go to graveyard. Everything has to go to graveyard. So I won't get any effects besides the effect of the fusion that I'm making, which is Chimera. So Chimera, Chain Link 1. And then he said, how, man? And then I was like, luck? I don't know what he's talking about. I was like, 
I thought he was saying like, how did I hard open poly brain infusion? Like, how am I making Chimera right now? Like, that's what I assumed he was saying. And then I said, look. So I said, look. And then he said, how did you, how did you use from hand? How did you use from hand? And then I said, what you mean? He said, Chimera's effect. And I said, I use gazelle on field and cornfield in hand or chain and cornfield in hand. And he said, so how many you use in hand? LOL, that's all I'm asking. Uh, I mean, okay. The, the word many is very important in this here. Um, and I say, oh, how many too? Sorry. I even said sorry. I don't know why. I even said sorry, bro. I, I, bro, okay. And then he said, thanks. Chimera is fine. So I draw two branded fusion patchwork and then pop. I think I just popped the spell here um, because this card is so scary, bro. This card is scary as hell. Uh, looking back on it, maybe it was right to pop the M pin. Um, I did not. I don't know about this other eagle. I know about these two cards, though, right? So if I know about those two cards, I can just negate his normal summon and he can't just go battle beat over Dragostopelia, but it is what it is. Um, I gets banished. I go patchwork for poly and chain. And then from here, I just go ahead and set Chimera Fusion past turn. He draws Toucan. Okay. And then he says battle phase, battle phase twice, by the way. And then M pin over the Dragostopelia. I used it for no reason. Um, then he goes to Kin, add back the town. Yeah, I played this second game pretty badly. I'm not going to lie. Um, I would have went crazy if I wasn't under shifter, but shifter kind of shifted me. Um, and he said, K, which cards think on target? Like he's declaring his effects. Like he declared, uh, Ryza and M pen and then just said K question mark. Like, bro, what are you targeting, bro? What do you mean K? You didn't target anything. Trying to cheat. Already trying to cheat. Uh, I'm going to chain Chimera Fusion. Use those two. Go up into Magnum the Reliever. And then he said resolve it. And then he said resolve it. I'm confused. Sorry, bro. He said, what you mean I resolved it? And he said, why is it still on field? And I said resolve Ryza because apparently you have to you uh, stack everything with Ryza. Yeah, so basically, I was unsure if Ryza needed to bounce back all of its targets for it to you know do what it does. Uh, if I get rid of one of the targets, then none of them happen, uh, apparently. So, and then that's basically what he's saying. He says, it's a quick play. I can't resolve Ryza. I mean, resolve with no effect. All three targets have to be returnable. And I said, oh, it has to do all of them. Okay, my bad. I was lost. Thank you. And then I go edge and chain, search for patchwork. So just some follow-up there. Actually, it's not follow-up. It's dead because I have both polys in hand. Magnum, the reliever, though, can recycle the poly. So he's just going to go ahead and set the Dreaming Town and pass turn there yeah so i could have chained the edge imp chain i could have chained or i could have chained magnum the reliever to edge imp chain but i was hoping he would play into it a little bit more but he ends up passing <clears throat> i draw ash blossom i go main phase one activate the branded fusion here and then i do end up sending gazelle and albaz even though renbrum doesn't do jack anything against this matchup i do want to search off the gazelle because that's just going to get me into my plays so we go Gazelle there, and then I chain link to Magnum and Lever, banish the Branded Fusion to pop the set card. And then he chains the set card, of course. <clears throat> so that's good. He's going to normal summon the Eagle. I'm going to resolve, grabbing the cornfield there. And then he's going to go Toucan chain link two. So add back Toucan. And then he's going to search for Miss Valley Apex Avion. And then normal summon Toucan. Use the effect. Grab back unexplored wins. Normal summon once more the Apex Avion. And then he's going to get Eagle effect. He said wrong one. Toucan. So yeah, he's going to get Toucan effect. And then chain link three is going to be town. Okay. So set, set, everything. I can flip this back up and yeah it doesn't really matter too much uh that's really one of the best things about you know this chimera deck is that or not one of the best things but something that i personally enjoy is that the books don't do too much like i could book of eclipse myself like maybe even wait a little bit if i have fenrir or whatever book of eclipse myself and then i can still chimera fusion destroy his monster so he won't draw uh and everything gets set so like uh, yeah Fusion, Fusion Dex Book of Moon, nice, basically is what I'm saying. So I go for Poly, and then he Miss Valley Apex Avion negates that, which is fine by me, because then I go Cornfield, Sword Knight, 
and combo. So Sword Knight, Summon Big Wing, Burfomit, Big Wing, Burfomit, Add Chimera Fusion. And I'm out of beasts, which is unfortunate. Two Gazelle there, and I sent the other one off of the Branded Fusion. So tough, tough, tough. I'm going to go Chimera Fusion, though, for Guardian Chimera. Um, Yeah, this sets up a Beast Fiend later on. So Chimera Effect, Chainlink 1, Burfamit, Chainlink 2, Reborning the Sword Knight. Yeah, so Reborn Sword Knight, and then draw Droll, and then pop Ryza M Pen, flip Magnum the Reliever, put Polly to the bottom, draw one, draw Sword Knight. Okay. And then Battle Phase Attack. In this situation, I probably should have put back a Chimera Fusion, is what I should have did. Because I have one, two chain banished, and the third chain's in graveyard. So no matter how many polys I put back, this patchwork will never be live again. So might as well just banish that one uh, for the pop and not, uh, you know, you, you get what I'm saying there. Um, but anyway, main phase two, end phase. We drew in a sword knight off that. He draws duality. Main phase one, uh, standby phase. I go mirror sword knight for birth of it. Just get more chimera fusions. And then we're going to see he's going to activate unexplored winds. I'm going to say, okay, that's good. And then he's going to normal summon Tukin. Chain link two is Eagle. And then I just have to Magnum Reliever or else my board just starts getting picked apart. Um, so banish, pop the unexplored. And also Empen's probably coming down soon. So my Magnum Reliever will just be beyond dead. Uh, but he's going to grab a whole bunch of cards. And I draw preemptively. He summons. And then I draw on resolution. He said legal question mark. The ad is during the... Resolution of the chain in the middle of the train and I try to explain to him it triggers after you summon apex and he said gotcha So he just sets uh, town and passes uh, I draw evenly which sucks, but is what it is That's the price you pay playing evenly so I go chimera fusion here um, I'm thinking like I'm so nice because if he ever tries to apex avion I go magnum reliever banish it can't negate because it has to return to hand and it will be popped. But I always effing forget the fucking town graveyard effect. And it will come up to bite me here. So we're going to go Chimera Fusion. He's going to chain the town. So it's going to be Chimera the King. Because of his Guardian Chimera and the guy, obviously. And I'm running low on resources. That's like one of the bad things about this deck. Once you've gone through you know, the Gazelles and the Burfamits, the Mirror Sword Knight kind of doesn't do too much. But it's fine still. Because we can keep recycling the Chimera Fusion, getting the Chimera King on field. Uh, said anything on a new chain. Chain link one is Burf Emit, target cornfield, and Fusion chain link two. So he's going to go boom, boom. He said target M pin. So Street Banish M pin, add back is Robin. And then he can go summon the Toucan. And then new chain. I said I don't have anything. He goes. Two can chain link one, eagle chain link two. And here maybe it was worth because this is when I this is where I lose right here. Cause he sets my field. I can't add back Chimera Fusion. I don't have any gate anymore with this. And getting Chimera Fusion back is like my best play. And as soon as M Pin hits the board, Magnum Reliever is dead. Actually, wait. Yeah, it won't work. It won't, it just won't work. Um so maybe right here on this chain link. I could have went Magnum and the Reliever, Banish, Pop. And then he just Apex Avion, Negates, Destroys. And I'm in the same spot, so I guess it didn't matter. Uh, flu Engine rolling. It's rolling. Um, so Effects, Chainlink 1, Chainlink 2, and then Chainlink 3. L l let's hold on, bro. So Normal Summon, Empen, Declare the Effect of Empen, Declare the Effect of Toucan at 3340. Signal okay, and then banish Dreaming Town. That was only five, so yeah, it wasn't too bad. Seemed like he did forget about it for a sec, but it's chill. I let that go, and it's unfortunate because I can't add back the Chimera Fusion. If I could, it would have been a different story. I just end up admitting defeat there, and this is where it gets salty. This is where the Salt Bay comes in, gets really salty. Bro, look at this hand, bro. This, this deck produces crazy-ass hands for no reason. Okay, so opponent, oh my god, this is so funny. This is so funny, bro. 
Okay, so I open Fenrir, Patchwork, Branded Fusion, Ash, Gazelle. Opponent opens up Prosperity, Robin, Ryza, Evenly, and then Ad Advent. So I go main phase one, activate Patchwork. This dude is such a cheater, bro. Shit, pissing me off. Uh, so effect, it's actually not, I, I, I don't care. It's hilarious, but you're actually a cheater. Um, so special summon Fenrir, and then I just go Polly right away. Okay, so Beast Fiend, like, that's like the good part about drawing this engine. Oh, well, actually, I drew Patchwork. And if you draw Patchwork, of course it's good. But if you draw Just Chain, Just Poly, it kind of can be bad sometimes. But anyway, uh, so New Chain is Gazelle Chain Link 1, Edgem Chain Link 2, Chimera King Chain Link 3. So add Patchwork, add Cornfield, and then activate Cornfield. Search for the Mirror Sword Knight, Mirror Sword Knight effect. Uh, go summon out big wing big wing grab chimera fusion grab king tiger and at this point i decided that i was going to play into nibiru so i'm just going to hold this branded fusion uh, in case i do get nibiru and i'll at least end on dragos the pelia and also king tiger wang who in the side against flu it ain't that bad uh fenrir at fenrir and then this is where I had to think a little bit. Chimera Fusion. I make a second king. This is this way. If it is evenly or something, I can Chimera Fusion. Put this guy in the graveyard to bring back the Wang Hu. Um, and then, yeah. So I get Birth of it there. Summon back Sword Knight. Add back Chimera Fusion to hand. Set one card. End phase. End phase. Okay. I roll the die. Hit four. That's evenly. So I target the evenly. I hit the evenly. Then bro says, sorry. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. I'm sorry to you that I opened this crazy. And I'm ripping evenly. Huh? Bro. He said, I went pee. What is happening? Cap. So immediately, I, I, I know that's cap. He, I said, I would have paused. Why didn't you say anything? Usually, if somebody has to go to the bathroom... Playing DB, they say, BRBP, or I gotta pee, sec, hold on, wait, I gotta go to the bathroom. Especially if you know I'm comboing. And he said, the last thing I saw was you added Fenrir. I figured you were still going to pop off more. Cap, cap, cap. And then he says, question mark. And then he said, bro, I'm just asking what you selected, what you're selecting. Then I point to the card again. I made second Chimera. I'm trying to explain to him. At this point, I was still thinking like, okay, maybe he really did get up and go pee. I chose this one. I'm telling you, like, I chose this card. End phase. And then he said, gonna shuffle then. You asking me what I selected. I show you what I'm selecting. Then you say, I'm gonna shuffle then. Bro, cap. You're weird. You're cheating. Whatever. It was like, this was late at night too. It was like 11 o'clock or something. No judges on, obviously. Like, I'm not going to sit here, bro, and be like, whatever. He's like, so he shuffles. And then I'm like, no. And then, and then I, he says, I can shuffle. And I say, bruh. And he said, in main phase two or end, or before end phase. And I'm like, bro, what? What are you talking about? You can shuffle before main phase two or end phase. Like, bro, I didn't even have a main phase two. It's, it's like, what? It's my first turn. And he said, I can shuffle before end phase. Yeah, sure, you can. You can shuffle your hand. I'm like, not after I pick a card to rip, though. That's not the point you can shuffle. Bro's weird. Anyway, he said, and then I said, I mean, sure, bro. It's like, whatever, whatever, dude. And then I roll another four, actually. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on here. Oh, nobody wants to see Justin Bieber highlights. All right. So I roll again. I hit a four. I hit prosperity. It's just honestly, maybe even a better hit. So whatever. Uh, end phase. He draws Ash Blossom. Uh, draw phase. I go Sword Knight, of course. And he says, read. And then he ashes that, and they say, okay, I don't know why I didn't do that the first game, but sure, because now I'm really pissed. And then he goes battle phase, and then I say, not okay. Uh, he said, what you got? And then I just make Magnum the reliever. So make Magnum the reliever. I have Ash. I have a negate on the field. I have uh, Chimera bring back Wang Hu, summon back a floodgate against you. You can't stick any little birds to floodgate. Uh, so battle phase, he goes evenly, and I just banish Magnum the Reliever and the guy Fenrir, and then I say can't wait to see what I originally hit because I knew it was evenly, bro. Like right, right after he went battle phase evenly, I'm like, bro, I know I hit evenly off. Like I, I know I did, bro. Like whatever. 
anyway, he says, LOL. And then he normal summons Rabina. I chain Mirror Sword Knight. Negate. I say, negate. And then he goes, Advent, banish it. And he said, cool question mark. Negate. Ash Blossom, negate. And he said, no longer on field, question mark. What are you talking about, bro? What are you literally saying? And I said, what do you mean? And he said, you all right, fam? Bro, I'm fine, bro. Are you all right, bro? Are you good? You're tweaking right now. Uh, and I said, yeah, I'm good. You? And he said, what do you mean? We good, question mark? He said, can I keep moving? And I'm like, are you trying to add off Rabina? Are you trying to resolve Rabina right now, bro? Is that what you're doing? Is that what you meant by... Like, no longer on field? Is that what you were implying? And I said, is that what you meant by this? And he said, I'm assuming that's a yes. Why would you assume, bro, what? And he said, no longer on field. Like, I just copied. I was like, is this what you meant by this? And then I say, don't assume. And then he hits me with the STFU RKO. Brother, no, no STFU. But yes, uh, I said, Rabina is negated. And he said, he's not my ninja. He's not my ninja? Are you serious? How mad are you right Bro, how mad are you right now? You seem very pissed. How mad are you right now? This is hilarious. How pissed are you? You're pissed as fuck. Anyway. Uh, he said he's not, and I say he is, and he said, who are you negating Rabina with? And then, of course, declare Sword Knight. I say Sword Knight, and he said, okay, I'm the dumb one. My bad. And then, GG, Big Dog. No, bro, you don't get to, bro, don't call me Big Dog, bro. No, no, it was not a GG. You're a cheater. I hit evenly out your hand. You're only going second card. You cried about it, and you cheated. So, with that being said, that's going to do it for this one. I, I think that these videos are hilarious. Uh, to be honest, though, I haven't come across, like, something like this in a while. E even though this really wasn't even that bad. Like, I was making it, like, I was exaggerating a little bit for a video. Like, it was whatever. Obviously, he was being weird. Obviously, he was cheating. Um, It really wasn't a big deal, though. And he wasn't that toxic, obviously. Uh, he was still, like, trying to be, like, play the game. Uh, but... In general, this hasn't happened to me in a long time. Like when I first started playing DB, there was a lot more like toxic people and like people trying to cheat, people trying to do whatever. I haven't come across that uh, in a while, but you know, they're, they're still out there. Blunt pedo, still out there. If you guys come across blunt pedo, make sure to tell him you're a cheater. Don't ask me to hit evenly out your hand and you had to shuffle. It's going to do it for this one. I'm out. Peace. Oh, also. Uh, if you see Blunt Pito, like, explain to him what Mirror Sword Knight does. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.